One of the questions I get asked a lot is, what does it cost to build a home? So today I'm going to cover what is the cost per square foot to build a house in Oklahoma, as well as how do you pick a home site to build on, and then finally, what kind of money are you going to need out of pocket? If we haven't met, my name is Andrew Coles, and I'm a realtor with Brickle Realty. I also run a website called modcity360.com where we connect Tulsa to great real estate resources. And over the last 20 years, I've been obsessed with homes. I started as an electrician, then a kitchen and bathroom designer. And over the last 10 years, I've worked with many families to design and build their homes, some starting at 120,000 all the way up to 600,000. So obviously the cost varies quite a bit. Today I'm gonna to try to simplify the answer, but to get a real price, there are many other factors I'd need to know to get you a real price, but we're gonna use some simple guidelines here. So if you're wanting a house payment on a new home, that's say around 1,000 a month, maybe 1,200 a month, uh, you're gonna to wanna to buy a home in a neighborhood that is under 200,000. So most of the homes are gonna be under 200,000, and the price per square foot is about a hundred dollars so uh, one of the things to note is if uh, you're building a home that's closer to 1500 square feet that's going to drive the the price per square foot up to around hundred and thirty dollars and that's because the lot cost doesn't change the lot costs on homes in that price point are generally around thirty thousand so if you're building a smaller home that's going to drive the price per square foot up so these homes, uh, I would say, have three bedrooms, two baths. Uh, some of the larger ones may have a study, generally won't have a game room. And like I said, the payments are going to be around 1000 a month. Uh, also, the design of the front of the home is going to have mostly siding and a little brick. And they're going to be a little more basic. Also, builders in this price range won't let you modify the plans. They stick to the kind of tried and true plans that they have. That's how they're able to optimize the pricing and get you that great price per square foot, uh, but they're not as custom. So, so if you're looking for maybe a little bit larger of a home, uh, I would look in communities that range from 200,000 all the way up to 400,000. Now this price point is gonna generally have a larger lot in a community that has more amenities like swimming pools, uh, walking trails, nicer playgrounds, uh, possibly even a, a clubhouse, and the the lot costs are going to be forty five to eighty five thousand. So I would use a hundred and thirty dollars a square foot. Now that's going to be your homes that are around twenty three hundred square feet. Now if you're building a larger home, maybe with four bedrooms and two and a half baths, a game room and a study, they're gonna be more like 2,300 square feet all the way up to 3,600 square feet. I would use $120 a square foot on that price point. And so the payments are gonna be closer to 2,000 a month. And these homes are gonna come with full brick, uh, stone, stucco, basically no siding and uh, the front I call it, it's called an elevation. The front look is gonna be a little more designer oriented. So I know right now the, the far, modern farmhouse look is really popular as well as uh, some of the, it's called transitional, which has more stucco in it. Uh, that's gonna be more in this price point. Also, you're gonna be able to make more changes, do more custom work. So if you like a certain look on the front of the house, you're able to kind of design it yourself. Or if you wanted to move a wall, usually not gonna be a big deal with uh, builders in this price point. So how do you go about finding a home site? Well, finding a home site, or what we call a lot, can be a bit tricky. So most people wanna build their house on a larger lot with some privacy, but still be in a good school district. Well, that can be a pricey situation. I know most sites that are over three quarters of an acre that are in a central location can run over 100,000. I know around Brookside area, they're going for 200,000. So building a house under 300 just won't fit, you know? So that's why most people are building in outer areas. 
like Bixby, Broken Arrow, Owasso, Jinx. These are all great areas to build in and really good school districts and a lot more affordable. The land's just less expensive. So what does it cost to build a home out of pocket? Or better said, how much money do you have to put up front to build a house? I think this is an area that comes with a lot of misconceptions. People, I hear a lot of times think that they have to build, they have to pay the monthly payment while the house is being built. Well, the good news is that the builder carries the loan while you're building, so you're not having to pay anything. Uh, they're just gonna want an earnest deposit up front, and earnest deposits can run anywhere from 1,000 all the way up to 10, and what, what happens is you give the builder this deposit, they go get the loan while the house is being built, they make the payments. When the home's completed, you would go get your standard type of mortgage like FHA, conventional, VA, uh, the Native American loan. Uh, also, there's a great product called the Rural Development Loan uh, that requires no money down up front. And um, there's eligible areas like Broken Arrow and Bixby. And something even neater about this uh, loan is that people that have lower income, they have payment subsidy so you could actually get a payment as low as 600 a month on a brand new house. Uh, and most builders will pay closing costs. So in effect, you could have no money down and no closing costs with payments even as low as 600 a month. So if you'd like to know what areas qualify for some of these great loan products, go to my Mod City 360 finance page. And as always, you can message me at Andrew at modcity360.com. And I'm so thankful you watched my video today. Love to hear from you.